One minute to midnight. Are you concerned about education? I am. One of my deepest concerns is that while education systems around the world are being reformed, many of these reforms are being driven by political and commercial interests that misunderstand how real people learn and how great schools actually work. As a result, they're damaging the prospects of countless young people. Sooner or later, for better or worse, they will affect you or someone you know. It's important to understand what these reforms are about. If you agree they're going in the wrong direction, I hope you will become part of the movement to a more holistic approach that nurtures the diverse talents of all our children. Just, just wondering what your thoughts are around that, that kind of political thing a little bit more. We have to face the fact that education is a political issue, by which I mean it's a matter of public policy. Um, it's an economic issue. You know, if it's true nationally, governments invest so much in education because they believe that you know, a well-educated workforce will contribute to economic prosperity. And they're not wrong, that's absolutely true. But it's not the same education the people of my generation needed in the 1950s and 1960s, but politicians behave as if it is. The problem is that the debate about education has become politicised. Political parties use it as a as a, um, a kind of punch bag and show how macho they are. They talk about tough new policies. and So you know, typically speaking, the, the right wing of politics tends more towards the view that education should be all about direct instruction and learning facts and figures and so on and getting back to traditional standards whatever they believe they happen to have been. Um, some people on the left believe that education should be much more about freedom and self-expression. And the real balance that's required in education becomes lost in this political struggle. So I don't object to, to politicians having serious discussions about the real purpose of education as long as they pay attention to what real people are actually like and what the sort of education we genuinely need to help our communities to flourish and to thrive. Well, what can I say, but thank you very much, Sir Ken.